Aloha friends, it's Robert Selleck with Blue Planet Surf. In today's video, I'm going to talk about going faster on a stand-up paddleboard. I'm going to give you some tips on equipment, technique, and other tips that will help you get faster when you're paddling. This here is a 14-foot race board, so obviously the equipment is important. You want to get a, a fast board that's a narrower, longer board is going to be faster. Uh, this board here is optimized for downwinders when you're using the energy of the ocean to go fast, basically surfing open ocean swells um, for like flat water conditions or you know like more like regular conditions without downwind waves pushing you. A lot of times the displacement hulls are faster that are kind of pointy and more flatter on the bottom and uh, a lot of the modern boards have dugouts too where you're lower to the water and that makes your board more stable so you can go narrower so depending on what you're doing um, a good race board will make a difference in how fast you can go what kind of your top speed can be but i would say the most important thing you can make the most improvements incremental improvements in is technique so a good stroke technique is super important so work on your technique make it as efficient as possible like for me, I've done the Molokai race over 10 times. It's 32 miles of open ocean paddling. And in that race, you really um, have to focus on efficiency because otherwise you're just gonna get worn out and you won't make it to the finish line. So endurance racing is a really good way to improve your efficiency and technique, I, I think. Um, and one thing to really pay attention to is getting a good catch, making sure you plant the whole blade in the water on your catch um, so, so you get a full full use of your whole blade um, and then applying uh, power to your stroke like pushing down with your top hand kind of leaning into it um, using a twisting motion using your core muscles using your back muscles using your lats um, all those muscles and then getting a smooth exit don't pull too far back come out smoothly and then feather your blade on the recovery so there's a lot of other videos out there on paddle technique so I'm not going to go into it too deeply but definitely technique is the easiest way to improve your performance without spending months and months on training. Equipment technique, the third tip is training. Obviously, physical training is gonna make you faster. So paddling, spending lots of time on the water, um, using at different speeds, using interval training, uh, sprinting at high speed for short distances, and then paddling for long distances at a maintainable pace. Um, and then just kind of spending a lot of time training, going out with others to compare yourself. It's always great to go out with other paddlers that are a little bit faster than you, so you kind of try to keep up with them. So training is super key to make yourself go faster as well. Another tip is finding a good rhythm. So uh, find, I like to count my strokes on both sides, like count how many strokes I'm taking on one side, count how many strokes I'm taking on the other side, and then also matching my breathing rhythm to the paddle rhythm. So depending on how fast I'm going, I'll take one inhale and um, inhale on the recovery and then exhale on the push, on the, on the pull. So depending on how fast I'm going, a lot of times I'll do one breath per stroke. So inhale on the recovery, exhale on the power phase, inhale on the recovery, exhale on the power phase. That would be like for my sprinting breathing. If I'm going uh, for longer distances, a lot of the times I'll do two strokes per breath. So uh, depending on, on how, how fast you breathe and how much oxygen you need, um, it, I like to just um, always inhale on the recovery because as you're recovering, it's a good time to fill your lungs with air. So finding a good rhythm. And then another important thing is finding the right trim on your board. So like being too far forward, where your tail is kind of sticking out of the water is not efficient and uh, basically you're creating more wake than you need to. Um, you, if you look back, ideally I like to be, have the tail of the board kind of just kissing the surface of the water and that way the water comes off real smooth and leaves a minimum amount of wake. So when you look behind yourself when you're paddling, you want to see as little wake as possible. Another tip is to use mother nature basically you want to use the wind and the waves and the chop and the open ocean swells to help you propel yourself forward um, so definitely in downwinders it's all about finding the glide 
uh, letting the waves push you and taking a break when you can so you can apply more power to catch the next bump. So in downwind paddling, using the energy of the ocean is super important. When you're paddling in flat water, um, there's usually no, no bumps to ride, but sometimes there are things like boat wakes or you can draft behind another paddler. So a lot of times in, in racing situations, if you can draft behind one paddler or multiple paddlers in a row, that'll save you probably about 15 to 20% energy uh, by drafting. So uh, any way you can find an advantage that, that helps you go a little bit faster by drafting, using boat wakes, or also staying in the wind shadows. If you're going upwind, a lot of times if you hug the coastline, you will have less wind and less chop. Okay, another tip for going faster, especially in racing, is to practice the transitions, practice the start, practice the finish, uh, practice turning. Pivot turns can make you go around a buoy a lot faster than if you have to like backwards paddle and so on. Also use the steering strokes, um, use the crossbow turn to turn, and then uh, just getting on further back and doing a pivot turn will be definitely a lot faster to turn around a buoy. So um, practice your turns, make sure you're comfortable turning, and then also practice the starts. A lot of times, if you have a fast start, that'll um, be really important later on in the race uh, because it's harder to catch up once you're behind. And a lot of times, when, pe when people pass each other in a race, it's not during the straightaways, it's during the transitions, the turns, uh, if you have to run on the beach in a technical race and so on. So those are the things you really want to be comfortable at um, and practice. So practicing the transitions can help you in a race. Okay, so another tip is cross training. Just um, working on your overall fitness, your strength, your flexibility. So, um, and it's not just like strength training, it's also, you know, obviously endurance training, flexibility training, doing things like yoga and stretches, um, just keeping your body limber and fit. Um, it can be, really help with improving your race performance. A lot of times, I like even for long distance endurance racing, it's good to also pr practice your sprint high speed paddling because usually your, your long distance pace is like maybe 80% of your maximum speed. So if you can improve your maximum speed, that'll also improve that 80% rate that you can go at, at a ma uh, maintainable long distance pace. And the other thing that's important is nutrition. So especially in longer races, you're gonna have to drink and eat. So finding nutrition that's easy on your stomach, that digests quickly, that gives you energy without a spike in energy and then dropping. A lot of times if you have really sweet, it gives you like a, a sugar high and then, it, but then you kind of crash afterwards. So I like to use uh, carbs and uh, things that give you like a steady supply of energy without the, the peaks and valleys. And then just make sure you get enough uh, hydration, water, electrolytes, um, just to keep uh, the electrolytes are really important to avoid cramping. All right, so I hope these tips will help you go a little bit faster. You know, really focus on your technique, focus on your equipment, try different things, focus on nutrition and hydration, do some cross training, work on your balance, work on your stance and trim, and, uh, and just kind of always put in the time on the water, go out with friends, and do some races. All those things are gonna help you get faster and more comfortable. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel, and we'll see you on the water. Aloha.